What's up everyone, this is Mike from I Guess as well and today's video we're going to be talking about the Marantz SR7015 8K receiver. So this 8K receiver can do 4K 120Hz and then it comes with the HDMI 2.1 so it can do all the goodies that comes with it. Auto low latency, variable refresh rates, quick frame insertion. So when we have all of that, that matches with these consoles now. Apart from the PlayStation which cannot do the variable refresh rates right now. So Xbox Series X can do the variable refresh rates. So first I'm going to be connecting it with the PlayStation and show you how it works, whether it works or not, and what are the settings. So PlayStation is right now connected to the 8K port on the Denon, uh, sorry, I keep saying Denon because it works on Denon too, and I'm coming from Denon receiver. I'm talking about Marantz 8K receiver. The HDMI is right now connected to the 8K port and then for Denon X6700 model, that one also will take the port in the HDMI, which is going to be the 8K port at the back. So one thing that I talked about earlier with the PlayStation 5, the cable that comes with it is lower bandwidth because it's not ultra high speed HDMI. It is high speed HDMI. So with those standards, you cannot call it ultra high speed HDMI. There are consequences. I mean, some people saying that the Sony was not able to print it. I mean, they misprinted it. I mean, Sony doesn't make these cables. These cables come from the uh, manufacturers uh, who actually makes the cables. So guys, there's no way that Sony misprinted it. It's just not what it is. I mean, it's not the ultra high speed HDMI cable. That's the cable that comes with the Xbox Series X. But why Sony did it, I know the reason now that this PlayStation 5 is limited to the 32 gigabits per second bandwidth right now that it can output, which is YUV422 chroma subsampling. So it can do maximum that, but we'll get to the Xbox Series X that how does that perform? So to watch that video, make sure you subscribe to this channel because that's my next video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new content available. But right now, without any further delay, let's just get into the setup and I'll tell you what I'm using. So I'm using right here, this is C10, LG OLED C10 48 inch, which can do HDMI 2.1. It's going to be connected to the Marantz SR7015 via eARC and then the PlayStation right there, PlayStation 5 is connected to the 8K port on the receiver itself. All right, so now let's talk about the settings. How did I do it? So I'm gonna hit setup and show you how you have to do. So you can do all the other uh, setup instructions just the way it is, just follow those instructions. Then you have to go to the video after everything is done and come down to the 8K, 4K signal format. So once you go to this format, it is saying 8K enhanced before it was set to enhanced. So in order to get that high quality 4K 120 Hertz and the 8K 60 Hertz, which is not available right now, and this TV cannot even do it, but I have another TV, which I was hopeful that PlayStation and Xbox will do output the 8K 60 Hertz. This receiver will do 60 Hertz 8K. So I'll be able to test all of that out, but unfortunately there's no 8K 60 Hertz resolution output available either of the of the consoles. So I'm gonna select it to the 8K enhanced and let's just go back. So once we do that, I'm gonna show you the um, PlayStation picture menu. And it's a lot of back and forth. All right, so I'm gonna go here and go to the settings and I'm gonna show you what's happening there. I'm gonna go to the screen and video, video output information and voila. You can see that it is outputting right now 2160p, 120 hertz, and I said YUV, that is chroma subsampling of 422. There's 422 and then there is 444. But this one is restricted to 422 or it could have gone to maybe RGB HDR. We'll talk about that when I review the Xbox Series X with this um, Marantz receiver. But right now we're talking about the PlayStation 5. So see, it can do 120 hertz, it can do HDR, the supported resolution and everything is here. Now what? Now we have to go and make sure that in PlayStation 5, we're gonna go to the uh, save data and game app settings. Once we go there, we're gonna go to the game presets and we're gonna set our performance mode or resolution mode to performance mode. We don't want game default, we don't want resolution, we want 120 
hertz or 120 fps so we're gonna play the cold war guys i hate this whenever it comes to like gameplay i just can't focus because i'm talking and i suck at playing this game whenever i'm talking or making video but i mean yeah you can call it that i'm making an excuse but this is what it is so i'm gonna do a quick play actually i'm just gonna do the ddm so let's just do gunfight just DDM. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what's going on here, guys. So meanwhile, it's loading. I just wanna make sure I educate you enough about it. So press the green button on the LG remote control and um, you're gonna see that the free sync information. Xbox, uh, PlayStation 5 does not support the VRR as of now, so it doesn't do VRR. And we are looking at the 2160p 120 hertz and then we have YCBR422 that's chroma subsampling 422, YUV 422, whatever you want to call it. It's running it at 8 bit, it's HDR still, and it's 4 into 8, so that's 32 bits. If you want to see this, I can show you again, it matches the same exact information on the receiver itself. So I'm going to hit info. Okay. I don't know if, uh, oh, I'm using my Denon remote control. It's Marantz now, guys. What I'm doing? I have upgraded my system. Okay, I'm going to hit the info button on the Marantz here. And it's going to bring up the menu for you guys to tell you this information. So you can see it's 32, 32. And then it is HDR10. It's 4K 120. It's YCBCR422. That's exactly what we're getting output on the TV right here. But you see that as soon as I hit this, actually display has changed because it's Marantz resolution now. So I have to get out of it. And it's gonna switch back to 120 Hertz. Okay, let me hit back and get out of this uh, info menu. All right, one more time, that's it. All right, now let's go back to where we were. So we were talking about the 120 Hertz resolution at 4K, 32 bits per second, running it in HDR, let's go play some game and see how's the gameplay and how it is like okay look at the look at the movements right i mean that um clear motion and all of that stuff is disabled so but you can see how smooth it is i don't know if my camera will do the justice but i hope it does and this is how we have the 4K 120 hertz from the Marantz 8K. Oh, that was so bad. Well, let's just keep going. And you can see my TV and there's a TV behind. That is because um, that's my main TV, 65 inch one. Um, this, is, this is 48 inch. I use it as my um, gaming monitor on the PC. So this is not gonna be the part of the equation, but I just wanted to test on LG because the way LG is, man, it tells you everything, all the details. All right, you see the guys running in front of me? See how smooth is that? Otherwise you will see, uh, what do you call that, judder? Yeah, I'm gonna go just after these players so you can see how it looks. All right, he came from behind. All right, guys, I'm not focused on playing this. I mean, yeah, that's an excuse also. I don't know how to play this game, but I'm showing you how smooth the graphics is. Um, I'm trying to go closer to the player so that you can see uh, if there are any stuttering or if there's any issue. So far, so good. Not really any issue. And if there's any, I'll let you know, guys, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here so you can observe. Like, see, I, I can go here and do this. Okay, I'm gonna go after this guy. So there's not no frame skipping. Um, there's nothing that you can call it that it, it's, it's problematic. Oh, I thought he got him. All right, guys, so that was a defeat, but it's a win for us because we were able to connect this to the um, Marantz 8K, 4K, 120Hz. It's 8K receiver, but we can do 4K, 120Hz, so that's not bad. So if you have a home theater and you're looking at something like this, 
you can go ahead and buy maybe uh, there are a couple of other models they are like 5000 series 6000 then 7 and then if you have more money you can go 8000 series and then you can choose from Denon Denon X6700 um sure there's going to be 4000 series 3000 series all of the new uh, Denon and Marantz receivers can do 8K 4K 120 hertz so guys if you are planning to get one and you're worried about that, it's not going to work. There are issues. So I'm telling you guys, no issues. I've experienced it and this is working properly. So with PlayStation, it's a thumbs up. So good job, PlayStation. Good job, Marantz, for giving us the uh, insights about the HDMI, how much is the bandwidth, what's going on there. And LG, kudos to LG, man. The way LG is, the way it tells us like what's going on on the screen, what kind of output we have. That is amazing. Like, I've never seen that in a TV. Like, this information is solid, you know? Like, this information is what you want to exactly know what's going on. All right, guys. So, that's about it from the uh, PlayStation 5 videos. I'm going to go and do it on the Xbox when I get time. I think I'm going to do it maybe in the morning. It's already, like, 3 in the morning. So, I'll appreciate if you guys can, you know, respect these efforts. Go hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in another video. Until then. Peace out. Have any questions? Let me know in the comment section.